Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, my name is Didi, and I'm from the Bitcoin Generation X, I was mine on the 26th of May in 78, and I'm wearing Bitcoin caps all the time. Guys, uh, today's short TA update, I'm going to show you uh, three amazing charts and one website that you need to see if you decided yesterday not to be a trader but a hodler. So let's quickly jump into the video. I think it's a really cool one. And so let's go. first chart guys yes this is the first chart like you're used the four hour chart again i'm working on the orox platform if you want to have it down uh, below the video you will find the link to the orox platform yes there also you have access to the bam bam indicator and the bam bam indicator <coughs> on the four hour did give a short and is now telling us be aware we could go long be aware we could go long yes the flag is an indication there is too much yellow on the bottom over here. We should be seeing green hills. The bam bam in the bottom is not crossing that line yet. The line should be pointing upwards a little bit like that and then the bam bam should be crossing. If then one of these candles closes above the yellow stepping line, that is a go. Then we have like four or a triple confirmation or maybe even five confirmations if we look at the green line over there. Then that will be the moment of the long. But for now, it's just giving me an indication. Be aware, Didi, we could go long. Why is it very difficult for this long? Because we will fight this 200 moving average on the four hour, which is now around 47,500. That is the huge resistance level. We need to fight that line. If we come above it, we will retest it again and then go up from there. Important on the four hour chart. Let's jump into the next chart. Um, do we want to jump to the next? Bam, yes, to the day chart. On the day chart, we can see the same thing. We just came down below the 21 exponential moving average, that yellow line. This line, that is an airplane. Can you please be a little bit silent? I'm working here. <laughs> this yellow line is an important line if you look at history of Bitcoin. Look, always when we come above this one, we find support on the yellow line. I'm, I'm completely here on the left now. So we come above it, we find support. You see, the moment we break that line, the line becomes resistance. And then we go up again, it becomes support. You see, it's a very important line. So if we now look to what is happening now, we were finding that line as support, you see? We broke it now, so now it will become resistance. Which means, in my opinion, we found support of this level of the logarithmic growth curve over here, this gray line. So for me, we could try to go back to like 47k and then come down again, maybe even go a little bit lower, maybe go sideways before we go up again and you know, some move like that. Not back in history, but something like that is what I'm saying. Don't look at the dates. It's not like I'm saying that 28th of September we will be at 57k. But the way we would be moving could be something like that. Okay, nobody can predict the future, but um, it's just how I look at the charts. Uh, also on the bottom we can see that the stochastic RSI is bottoming out over here. The blue line, we are at 0 0.2, you know, mostly when you look to the left you can see that it is a very low level and um, so we should be turning around and then when we turn around that is an alert of the long on the 15 minutes so that's what the bam bam does it gives you alerts when to long on the 15 minutes as well and um, so for me this is all looking like it needs to turn around and um, here the entity is still red so that is also positive uh, as long as we stay red and not go gray on the day chart um, i'm still positive that we go upwards from here on the long term of course i still believe in that huge bull run. Um, what have we have more this one over here um, bam really cool chart because on this chart you can see that yesterday um, was the biggest outflow on exchanges because 
the balance on exchanges yesterday or today has never been as low like this in the last three years if you look on the dotted line to the left here that was the moment when the balance of the exchanges <coughs> was lower than today and um, now that is like a three year three year record on a low bitcoin balance on exchange which means people are taking their bitcoins off the exchanges to huddle for long term this is very positive we get more hodlers and we get less panic sellers very important chart and we can <coughs> see that over here as well because yesterday you can see the price drop over there the moment the price dropped there was an outflow of exchanges we can see the short-term investors start to buy and we can see also that the long-term investors start to buy so the price went down but everybody started to buy and flow out of the exchanges very important chart people need to understand that it is important when people start to buy these dips and also move them from the exchanges very important guys um, i have one more really cool chart that is bam this one not this one this one you already saw but this website that i want to point out to you is very important and um, if you bam decided yesterday i am not going to be a hodler but i want to be uh, dollar cost every, uh, I'm not going to be a trader sorry come on Didi but I'm going to be a dollar cost averaging um, hodler which means buying Bitcoin every week the same amount of dollars buying Bitcoin every week I'm just showing you this website so that you can see what kind of result you would have made okay I, I really like that website it's very clear I'm not being paid to talk about this website so if you would have bought $100 on the left here $100 weekly for three years and you would have started three years ago how much would that be worth now you can see here the value would now be 90,000 US dollar almost 93,000 US dollar the amount that you would have been investing would have been $15,700 $100 every week 52 weeks a year so that's $5,000 about $5,000 a year three years fifteen thousand dollars that would now have a value of ninety three thousand US dollar that is the power of dollar cost averaging yes if you would only have invested ten dollars a week which is also a good amount to invest weekly ten years for three years you would now have a value of nine thousand US dollar and you would have invested fifteen hundred US dollar do you get the picture so Let's see what happens if you say now I have a bigger budget I will do $1000 um, every month for the last 3 years and then now your value would be 191000 US dollar 190000 US dollar and you would have invested 36000 US dollar that is how it works if you go back longer and if you say four years starting like four years ago you get completely different numbers of course you can play around because if you started four years ago with thousand dollars a month you would now have a value of 270,000 US dollar and you would have invested 48,000 US dollar this is what dollar cost averaging means buying Bitcoin the same amount of dollars um, every month every week whatever you want so if you did it weekly with 100 US dollar four years four years you would now have a value of 120,000 US dollar you would have invested 20,000 US dollar that's five times your investment I think BAM that website made perfect perfect perfectly clear why some people should not be trading because of all the emotions and because of all the risk involved of leverage trades and all that stuff and just buy bitcoin every week if you would have done it you just saw you would still be in huge profits as well and bitcoin is going to go higher and higher and higher so the profits will be much higher at the end and think of this bull run that was everything for today a short update ta video i hope you really enjoyed it if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment what do you think do you want to be a trader do you want to be an investor and hodler whatever you want to comment down below please comment down below i'm going to read all the comments today and i'm going to respond because i don't have nothing else to do today i have a relaxed day at the pool so Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam!